Hey, welcome back. I hope that last video was helpful for you and took you through the procedures. It's a very simple procedure for the 25 hour service oil change and plug change on the Harbor Freight 3500 watt Predator generator. Now I'm going to take it out and hook it up to my 32 foot fifth wheel. And we're going to see what it can run. First of all, I'm going to plug it in and it's going to run the converter, which is going to charge my batteries. Then I'm going to turn on the 15K AC unit. Then I'm going to turn on a bunch of lights. Then I'm going to turn on a TV. Then I'm going to turn on a refrigerator. Anything you would normally run during the day and see how many watts we get. So stay with me. Here it comes. Alright, here we are with the Harbor Freight 3500 watt generator and it is on full blast, it's not on eco throttle and I will say that after I changed the oil and changed the plug to the NGK BPR7 ES the slight mist that it was having is totally gone. I mean, this baby is purring like a kitten. There's no load on it right now but I'm going to hook up my entire 32 foot fifth wheel which is right next to it I'm going to hook this thing up and we're going to see what it'll do, so stay with me. Okay, here we are with the RV plugged in and this is just with the converter on running the batteries. The Eco Throttle off, it's running 270 watts, we got 25 hours, 6 minutes on here, uh, about 2 amps. Now, I'm going to go flip on the AC and we're going to see what it does. Alright, 1.6 amps. Our AC should be coming on momentarily. There it goes. That's the fan. 3.8 amps. The compressor should kick on very shortly. There we go. 1634 watts. 12.2 amps. All right. Now it's running my 15K air conditioner unit, 12.9 amps, 1560 watts, this is like a half a load, okay, 13 amps, let's go turn on some lights. That's with a half a dozen LED lights on in the kitchen and the bedroom and the living room and the 15K AC unit pumping 1742 54 watts. Okay, I'm gonna go turn on one of the TVs and we'll see what it does for our watts. We have one TV on, 
half a dozen lights and the AC. And we're at 15 amps, 1800 watts. Okay, wow. 121 volts, 15.1 amps, 1800 watts. Now I'm gonna go turn on the refrigerator and see what it does. Okay, now the refrigerator's on. 17.8 amps, 2150 watts. Now, I have my 15K air conditioner on high auto. Right now it's cooling nicely. I've got a half a dozen lights on in the coach. I've got one TV on, and I've got the, the refrigerator on. So, and we still have capacity. So, what will this thing run? Will it run a 32-foot fifth-wheel RV? Yes, it will. Man, we could I could continue to load this up. Uh, I don't know whether I could get it to overload if I put the microwave on it or not. 2165, it's powering anything that I need. Uh, all right, let's go back to the workbench. Okay, to say I'm impressed with the operation of the Harbor Freight 3500 watt Predator inverter generator is an understatement to say the least. Uh, it's, I can't see spending another 1500 bucks to buy a Honda. Uh, I think the, if you use the routine maintenance and recommended maintenance schedule, that this thing will be every bit as dependable as a Honda. It will run my entire 32 foot fifth wheel and run the converter as well as charging the batteries with watts and amps to spare. So this is gonna be a great generator for boondocking. This is gonna be a great generator for hurricanes, other emergencies where you gotta have some power. So here's an idea of what it'll run. Also, during the break-in period, it's very important. Here's what kind of gas economy I got. I put a constant 6.9 amp load at about 850 watts, which is about a one-third, uh, 28 or 29% load on the generator for 25 hours. And I observed a 10 hour runtime on a full tank of gas, that's two and a half gallons of gas. I observed a 10 hour runtime at a 28% load. So there's your baseline. That's how long two and a half gallons of gas will last you at 6.9 or seven amps, about nine or 10 hours. So I hope you found this interesting. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do, we're good. Once again, this is Matthew Old Florida Boy saying, I'll see you on the trail and enjoy your new generator.